The pandemic shut down all filming of movies and TV series in Western PA and around the world, but it's slowly starting to begin again. New at 630, Christine Sorensen looks at the changes they have to put into place to get those cameras rolling again. We're used to seeing the hatted trucks around the region, maybe even a movie star around town, a sign that a movie or TV series is filming. But that filming came to a screeching halt in March. Um, it's, it's amazing how quickly it all had to stop and go away. Here in Pittsburgh, we're looking at at least 5,000 people that are unemployed due to the shutdown. Pittsburgh Film Office CEO Don Keezer says Netflix, which has set up shop at this office park in Warrendale, is in pre-production for a new series called Archive. They plan to begin filming in November. Keezer hopes this will begin to get more people back to work, not just the actors and those who work on the set, but the small businesses that support the productions. This is what really powers the film industry. It's a lot of small businesses. It's construction companies. It's um, Enterprise Car Rental, for example. It's all the hotels. They all had pieces of this. Everybody shut down. The new protocols are laid out in a joint agreement between many unions called the Safeway Forward. It includes creating a dedicated health and safety supervisor and department, dividing staff into zones that don't physically interact, testing performers three times a week for COVID, and even rapid testing if needed to protect actors who cannot be masked and socially distanced at all times. Here in Pittsburgh, only commercials have begun filming again, using performers who are related to avoid coronavirus concerns between actors. You know, on a commercial, you can probably get something done on a smaller commercial with 25 people. So it's easy to physically distance, wear the mask, take the temperatures, do all the necessary safety protocols. The $70 million in state tax credits for filming for the fiscal year that ends in June is already allocated. Keezer hopes many more of those productions will resume filming in early 2021. I'm Christine Sorensen, KDKA News.